Good day, it's Tony Fortunato from the Technology Firm. I want to run through a little uh, thing I figured out regarding an access point and a Cisco switch. Uh, I'm sorry, a Cisco access point and a Cisco switch. So this is the access point. This is our injector, our PoE injector, and there's my switch. This is a um, 1240 AG, and this is a 2940. So what I did was I configured this access point with a crossover cable to my laptop, and everything was great. Then I came over, plugged it in my lap, I plugged it into my switch, excuse me, and uh, guess what? Not so good. So when I plugged it into the switch, I went to the access point web page. It's kind of neat. I'm not really used to the web stuff. I'm used to a CLI, but uh, this is all new. It's good. So this 1240AG comes up and says, warning, all radios disabled, danger, danger. And it says, low power, classic, no injector configured. And then over here, it spits out a little information about my 2940 switch. So I thought my injector must be faulty. And then I realized, wait a minute, that worked fine before I plugged it into my switch. So what's so different? This is kind of a clue. This is something that a switch would spit out in a CDP packet. So I, I took this whole string of stuff and I went and Googled it like every other technical person would. Came up with something very interesting. This is um, caused, uh, the theory is, it's caused by Cisco's intelligent power management system. What it does is it listens for CDP packets. And in this case, my 2940 is either not sending uh, CDP information regarding power that the access point is expecting to see uh, or it's just not working out. So this guy, even though it has an injector, even though it has power, it's looking to the switch to provide information about power. So it's not working. So how do I fix this? Well, there was a few things I found, but the easiest way to fix this, believe it or not, is to simply disable CDP on this one port. Now, because it's my lab, I can get away with just turning it off, disabling it on the entire switch. It's just easier for me. So I'm going to show you how that works. So I'm going to go on my switch here. This is my fancy uh, switch, the one that tells you the password and the banner when you log in. I love it. <laughs> and, that. and, whoops. Now, I'm just simply going to new. CDP run. Exit. That's it. Gone. Uh, I'll even, even write them. There you go. Now, unfortunately, I noticed that this whole screen, this interface, doesn't seem to um, update and the access point doesn't seem to fix itself. I waited a few minutes um, and it just didn't do it. CDP packets do come out every 60 seconds by default, but unfortunately it just doesn't seem to work. So what I had to do was restart the access point. So I guess this is something that starts up or initially starts up and they try this dance and it doesn't work out. As you can see, we've got a minute and a half to wait. So instead of just standing here staring at the screen with you chewing up time, I'm going to pause the video and then I'll come back when the unit comes back online. All right, talk to you in a bit. So here we are, the access point is back online, and look at that, full power. And it even says here, power source, non-Cisco, no CDP received, and everything works just fine. So uh, that kind of bit me in the butt, hope that helps you out. Have a good day, bye for now.